Hi guys, I'm just going to show you a uh, few cool things you can do with list views. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is adding uh, items to the list view by just searching for files and then clicking this import button. And a few things I've already done is add the list view, add these buttons, and cha I've changed a few uh, properties of the list view, mostly just the view. I've changed it from uh, icon to details and I've also added grid lines um, and we're gonna go ahead and add some columns to it we're gonna add two uh, the first one's gonna be called uh, file name the second one's gonna be called file path notice that it automatically sets that up for us let's stretch these things out All right. and the first thing we should probably do is write the code for the browse button uh, this is just an open file dialog. And then we're going to set the text of the text box to uh, what we select. And let's also set the tag of the text box to just the file name. equals there we go all right that was very simple now let's go ahead and write the code for the import button and what we want to be doing here is we want to be adding um, since the first thing is file name which is what uh, textbox one dot tag we want to be adding that to the list view and then adding sub item of textbox one dot text which is the file path so let's do this view item. Nope. Make a new list view item. And let's pass it textbox one dot tag. Since tags are not strings, we have to do that. And then let's go ahead and do item dot sub items dot add textbox one dot text that will add it as a sub item then we have to add the uh, list view item to the list view done let's go ahead and try it out click this button to browse uh, we'll click the list view tutorial dot solution let's click the import button Notice that the file name, which was the first thing we added, is this view tutorial dot solution, and then the file path is the entire path of that file. And let's go ahead and add a uh, another feature to remove it from the list view. We're going to be using a uh, context menu strip for this which is basically what's a right click option is what you would call it remove from list and let's go ahead and set the context menu strip for the list view to the one we just created and let's double click the remove from list to write the code for it and we want to be removing the selected item that we right clicked so it would be this view one dot items dot remove this view one dot items dot this view one dot selected items and then we have to give it an index number because selected items could be multiple so we're just going to give it the first one since we're just going to be selecting one so that's going to be index zero there we go Okay, we've added it. Now let's right click it. We get this removed from list. Remove it. There we go. It's gone. And that is just simple adding and removing from the list view. Um, without actually hard coding any values into it. If you would like to hard code values, you have to go to this items and add them specifically. But this is just a very useful thing. I use it in a lot of my programs I write. 
and it's just a small tutorial on how to do it. Uh, let me stretch this out so you can see the entire code. Um, if you have any questions, um, any more things you'd like to see with this views or any other uh, things with Visual Studio 2008 in C Sharp, or just like to see any more videos, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my videos. You can also head over to my forums and my website, which is in my description. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.